Brian and Kenzie in the morning and Chicago's alternative all day. Q101. And here we go with a fact that makes your brain go. And I did guarantee that if the first 25 people at Lollapalooza this week that find me and are not happy with this fact, I will buy you a beer, a drink. Some kind uh -huh. of beverage. I could even get you a non-alcoholic beverage case. I'll get you one if you're not happy with this fact. Thank you, Brian. I appreciate that. A few years ago, you bought me a T-shirt at Lollapalooza. This year, I promise I'll just have you buy me a drink. And that was a turnstile shirt. That's right. If and I Brian, remember it. Brian did this bit at the merch stand where he came up and was like, oh, I'm going to buy my son a T-shirt. We're at Lollapalooza together with the joke being that we're not father and son. But to anybody that doesn't know us, like the lady selling t-shirts, she's like, oh, yeah, it's a father and son at Lala. Okay, cool. Yeah. These guys look like they're related. <laughs> the joke did not land. Yeah, no. And the line was long. I worked on that joke for a while. <laughs> also, Kenzie wasn't at this one with us at that time, and it was about a $55 shirt, Kenzie. 55. So I, thought, I also, I didn't ask. I just want to make that very clear. Why did, were you, what was going on that year? I feel like you bought Case a lot. There was like one year where you bought Case a lot of stuff. Are <laughs> you trying to That's sleep true. with him? Like, no. what were you trying to like, get in his pants? Like, what were you trying to do? Like, every, like, it's this one year where you took him everywhere and you bought everything. Trust me. I can get in Case's pants without a t-shirt. Amen, brother. Okay. <laughs> So I, I, my question stands. Uh, what was going on? Um, I just want to make, you know, I was a little more, this is pre-Harper. So, like, I had more cash oh, had available. Money. Yeah, He was like the Monopoly man. Yeah. Wow, did I meet you at the wrong time? You sure Sucks did. Sucks for me. You sure <laughs> did. Now I'm asking Kenzie, do you have any coupons? <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's unbelievable. Well, that's what today's about. Today's a great day. If you like free and you like this certain thing that we talked about last week with the Supreme Court, and I told you I'd tell you what that is. If you remember, the Ohio Supreme Court ruled that boneless chicken wings don't have to be boneless because boneless is a cooking style, not a guarantee. Kind of like chicken fingers don't have fingers in them. That was what, The whole thing is ridiculous. That's what the Supreme Court judge said. But today is National Chicken Wing Day. Woo! And I said yeah, last week that if I could eat chicken wings every night for dinner, I would. If it, if it was healthy and sustainable, I would do right, that. Right, right. So today you can go out. By the way, 1.3 billion chicken wings eaten in the last 12 months. That's 5% year-over-year -year increase. So people are eating more chicken wings. Mm -hmm. Do you eat chicken wings often? I, I don't know what often it is. Once a month? Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. It's if we get them as, it's always like the app, family appetizer if we have them. And where do you get them from? Wherever we are. I read just anywhere? Okay. Yeah. I don't, I'm not like, let's go out for chicken wings from here. I don't oh. know. Yeah. See, that's what I am. Ah, uh, yes. Yes. I can see that. I am going to Jake Melnick's downtown getting some chicken wings on the way home. Well, I'll tell you what, Keith Lee was just here. Um, if you follow him, he's like the very popular raider, uh, food raider on TikTok. Yeah, I saw that he was here and he he blew up some restaurant, but he gave him a he good blew review. Up a lot, yeah, a lot of them. Like it's like he did. I don't know. I mean, he maybe he's still here, but he was doing like a week here, and um, he reviewed a couple restaurants. And I'm like, how do I not know about this? I was here for a long time, right? And he did uh, the Outpost, which claimed they had the best wings like ever. And I am livid I haven't had those yet. I really would like them. Had them? They're incredible. Yes? Yes, but I think he... Had them. Uh, had them. Love them. <laughs> and also, I think one of the restaurants he reviewed, like, he saved the restaurant. Like, by the, by the yes. people that went in there, like, it, he yes. uh, it filled up. So these are restaurants you can go today and get free chicken wings. Wing Stop, I think it's favorite of cases. Big fan. Uh, has free wings with any purchase. Order online or through the app and use the code free wings. You can tack on five wings for free. That's a good deal. Five wings is a good total. Five five free ones, no matter what you get. Okay, and I want to circle back. I think the restaurant you're talking about is Amici. That was the one where he did, um, he reviewed all the different, like, around the world arancinis, and the restaurant was not busy at all. The guy said it's, it's just dead all the time. Yeah. It's kind of been a revolving door of restaurants there, but it's supposed to be amazing they do literally different versions of arancini like an african one a latin one an italian one like stuffed with different things almost like an empanada mm. and i'm like okay i would like to go i like things stuffed in things i know <laughs> <laughs> well yeah, good deal on that guy all right let's go back to the wings because it's uh probably the one people think of the most buffalo wild wings uh, they have free wings if you spend ten dollars use the code go wings and get six wings with your order wow so this is getting better by the minute applebee's 
But that's what I thought maybe you were going to say, because I know you're a big Applebee's fan. I like Applebee's. Buy one, get one deal if you order through their app and use the code WINGDAY24. So you buy one, get one. If you get Ooh. 10, you get 10 free. Also, if you download the app, it takes about 24 hours. So listen to me. Don't do it when you're there thinking you're going to get it, because that's what happened to me. But you download the app, you get a free appetizer. Do it now. If you want to go tomorrow, you get the wings. Wow. Okay. For Applebee's, you mean? Specifically, Applebee's. Yes. Yeah. Do that then. Start downloading right now. <laughs> I told you, then you get some free, free ass wings tomorrow. It was just funny. It made it sound like it was like a Napster download. It's going to take 24 hours to get the download. Well, I was at the restaurant tapping my fingers. No email, no nothing, no promotion. 24 hours later, and I'm like, well, now I got to go back to Applebee's. And sometimes the Wi Fi ain't working so good. Okay. You get that one that's like the office one with a code, and you're afraid to ask about what the, what the code is. Is there an Applebee's guest Wi Fi? All right, keep going here. National Chicken Wing Day. Popeyes has a buy one, get one deal. Buy six wings, get another six for a dollar. They're being a little greedy. If the other people are giving away, you know, one for one free, but they still have to that buy sounds something. sounds like what they should cost. Yeah, it's still pretty good, though. Six wings for a buck? That's a good deal for Popeyes, and they're good wings. I do like those, the ghost pepper ones. Yes. Popping. Finally, one more chicken wing deal we'll throw out to you. Hooters has a similar deal. Buy 10 wings, get another 10 free. Okay, that's a good deal. 20 wings right there. Someone texted and said, Err, these wings are making me so mad. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get that free beer for me, Alala? <laughs> God dang it. The Brian and Kenzie Show. On Q101. It's Brian and Kenzie on Q101 and major things afoot down in Dalton as... We have tracked this story now for over a year of Mayor Tiffany Henyard. Maybe you don't know everything about it, but a, a mayor down there that has been accused of taking funds from the city and going on lavish trips to Vegas, to New York, to Miami, and using those funds for, you know, pleasure. Not necessarily a business trip, but that's how they were kind of perceived. There was a whole list of accusations the FBI is investigating. Yep. Uh, There's so much going on down there in Dalton of the corruptness of Tiffany Henyard and the mayor, the winner of Piece of Garbage Madness 2024. Uh, it's a bummer. It's, uh, I don't know if people know this, but when you're a politician, you're not just supposed to take all the tax dollars and use them for fun. <laughs> They're supposed to, like, <laughs> help the city that yeah. you run, fix potholes, provide jobs. Maybe if you are going on a business trip, it's to help bring businesses into that city to help provide more for people. That's kind of the purpose. It's not like a lottery every week when the taxes come in. Like Sounds fun, though. Sounds pretty fun. I mean, I get where she's coming from. Right. I'm sure it was a good time. Uh, well, the, the added up of her being, you know, uh, and the mayor and the other job she has making like $300,000 a year, where the average person in Dalton makes about $28,000 a year. Very re repressed area. But yeah. here's a story from WGN's uh, Courtney Spinelli on Dalton trustee Jason House running for Dalton Mayor. Senior trustee Jason House announced his campaign for mayor today with current and a former trustee showing their support and their plans to seek another term. Now, this group says it's time to clean house and give both the residents and businesses back what they deserve. This campaign kickoff event is not about slandering anyone, least of all the current administration. Now, oh, wait a minute. That doesn't sound right. This is this is already off to a bad start for them. <laughs> if I were them, I would be slandering this current administration. I'd be very forward about slandering this current Maybe administration. Like a smidgen of slander would Just be good. Just a little something something. I mean, the presidents do it to each other. Yeah, I mean, what makes you above that? Every Who cares? every other American election and other ones in other countries as well. <laughs> uh, these countries were built on slander. <laughs> America was built on slander. Yeah. And, and actually... Which we've learned, especially during Kenzie's crimes. <laughs> and, and also, most of it, or not most of it, but much of it is false. Much of it is just, you know, a bunch of hubaloo. You know what? In this particular scenario, though, it could all just be true. So... Yeah. For when you're t if you're going to slander Tiffany Dalton, like... You, you have plenty of material. You don't have to make anything up. Yeah, so I'm not sure I like that angle, but let's let's continue on with the story from WGN. It is about changing the narrative. Sunday's announcement comes amid ongoing political... By the way, I'll go back there. It's really hard to change the narrative. Uh, <laughs> you, just, so you, might, you might as well slander. Uh, <laughs> just well, from my... <laughs> change the narrative but you don't how about you bring up the things that should be changed so people feel confident that you realize what's happening listen my experience in in high school as a vice president of, of my class my senior class uh, uh. slander works 
<laughs> what lies did you spread in high school? Oh, something about possibly the person that was uh, ahead of me in that situation uh, stealing toilet paper from the locker rooms. Wow, that can sink a, a, a student council career if I've ever heard something. <laughs> My Why goodness. is that even that bad? That's the best you could come up with? It worked. I was the vice president. Ima- That's all Kinsey, I needed. Imagine finding out you're going to vote for somebody and that they steal toilet paper. You change your vote. I don't know. They're thrifty. I think they do a lot with the student budget. But it was the budget, very small, and that toilet paper budget was gone because okay. they were stealing it. <laughs> we're talking about a budget of about like $72. I right. want like a good prom, though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let's continue with the story. Yeah. Sunday's announcement comes amid ongoing political dysfunction in Dalton, from contentious board meetings to a federal investigation into village finances, putting its mayor and her allies under the microscope. Recent months have put the South Suburban Village on the national map. We have been steadfast in our efforts to stop the gross mismanagement and abuse of power that people have seen in the village today. House laid out visions of ethics reform, restoring checks and balances, and creating a mayor's office, he says residents don't fear. He says no more lavish trips, fancy flights, or costly expenses on the taxpayer's dime. Okay, Among- that, that, that's what you run on there. That he's That's kind of shade. He's throwing a Tiffany Henry there. I like that. Okay. Among many other things, he shared plans to reform public safety, putting those sworn to protect and serve back on the streets. We've also seen a million dollars a year of security following around one individual instead of being on the streets where they belong. They say it won't be slander. easy, but it was- <laughs> Should we have a slander bell? Yeah, I'm like, okay. Like, I've heard it four times. Let's just now you're now you're just a lying politician. Cause just be like, listen, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring it up. Also, he can say your name. We know who he's going against. He's like that person using a security detail for a million dollars a year. Say it. It's unfathomable that the city of Voldemort? Dalton. Like, I was just gonna we... say, uh, <laughs> Tiffany. Sure. I mean, what's the problem? Unfathomable, but in the city of Dalton, that the security detail is a million dollars a year. I mean, with the things she's done, yeah, she does need that much security, and that's the only thing that she should have. I don't know. I would argue that's why he's afraid to say her name is that he doesn't have a million dollars in security, and he is <laughs> now opposing Tiffany Henyard. I would get be terrified whacked. if he's, I were him. He's absolutely going to be in the river in a week. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff Galuli. Uh, second time I'm making a Nancy Carey. Oregon reference in about a week. I probably shouldn't do it. It is the Olympic yeah, week, you're though. you're locked in, baby. I'm locked in the Olympics, but they got... You just lost the Why? <laughs> wow. Okay. Let's uh, finish up the story here from WGN. It'll be easy, but it will be a historic race. They're ready to take on. We have the right team. We have a winning team. Our team will be changing the narrative around the village of Dalton, and we will be restoring order, decency, and dignity to this community. Love it. Love it. Um, dare I say... It's been a busy weekend. Having done none research, none at all, about Jason House, mm-hmm. I'm putting my support toward him. Is that right? Yeah. Is that? A, I just, I really would feel bad if something came out about him in a week. But listen, Mr. House, which is an amazing name, I'm all for you as the mayor of Dalton. I got your back. What do you need? Tell me what you need, and I will help any I mean, way I can. probably funding for his campaign. Are you going to jump on that? Well, let's, let's talk about other things besides money. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> what do you think he needs from you? Yeah, what do you... What do you think about the Lala tickets? You're not the Obama. You just want your endorsement. My endorsement means something in the South Suburbs. Let me tell you. What does he need? Like a, you help moving a couch? <laughs> I would do that. They need couches and campaign offices. I'll come down and help. Whatever I can do, Mr. House, Chase, Jason House, running for the mayor of Dalton. Except money. I'm really, it's, it's a little tight right now. <laughs> Things are a little tight. What can you do for him? Hmm. Well, could Impress you, him. Would you have time to go out and, like, you know, put up flyers and signs and and all that it wouldn't cost any money no you're right would you have the time i don't want to give up that time <laughs> yeah, no. Let me, okay. can i put it that way uh-huh, uh-huh. so is there anything you are willing to do for him is the question uh, let me no think. money yep. no time right mm-hmm. but something that's going to actively help him yeah hmm. defeat the, tiffany henry which doesn't involve any of your money or time well we have a highly rated morning radio show by talking about it. Does that help? Does this count right? I'm here. Does this count? You're at work. <laughs> yeah, you feel like you got to do something else. It's got to be. So it's got to be one other thing besides mentioning it on the radio. Yeah, because that's like, you know, you don't just win championships by practicing the designated amount of time. Yeah. You win championships by staying after the game, shooting free throws. You're in the weight room. Right now, you're just you're just doing the bare minimum. Yeah. You're kind of doing nothing. 
Oh, maybe a man. Because now you don't even sound that motivated to help him, which isn't <laughs> helping his case at all. I gotta admit, I had some good adrenaline going there, and now I just don't know what to do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a lot. I was kind of excited. Because I want change down there for the for the people of Dalton that have been getting screwed. But not like that bad. But but what? So give us give us something. Hmm. I will. So I can't pass out flyers like by Wrigley Field. That won't help. That won't do anything. Okay, they don't. You vote. can't just hang one on your door. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know you what should, you could do? You should get a yard sign. Mm. I don't, have, have a yard. I don't have a yard. <laughs> you could hang it on your little deck. Uh, hang it off your deck. No, the deck faces, that faces an alley. It faces the alley. No one's going to see it. Oh, my God. You're the worst supporter. You know what you should do? This will cost no money. Okay. Okay. I like where you're going and with this. And it's not extra time, but it gets his name out there. Wow. Two things I love you said. Put it on your car. Get his face on your car. Because you just I advertise for him as you drive around. Hmm. What? What, on, what on the hood? <laughs> yeah. yes, on the hood. Or we can strap a bullhorn to the car and get home and just drive around town like, vote for it. Like, say it like the old school. Like, like in Back to the Future. Yes. <laughs> Willie Wilson, man, Willie Wilson, vote this week. Also, in, um, for more of my spooky folks, Nightmare Before Christmas, when they're like, has anyone seen Jack Skellington? It's the big alarm on top yes. of the car. You could do that. Yeah. So when he gets thrown in the river, you could help find him. Well, jeez, who knows? Someone should protect this guy. We need some bubble wrap around him. How about you volunteer at Secret Service? You're big. I am big. And, and, I, and as it turns out, you could also join the Secret Service, Brian. Does anybody care? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Brian and Kenzie Show. On Q101. The Brian and Kenzie Show. On Q. 101. Brian and Kenzie on Q101. Well, we know you watched the Olympics over the weekend because it's got an 82% higher rating than four years ago with the past Olympics. Very exciting, like 32 million people, the average rating was. And the Q Olympics, just as exciting and just as uh, ratings driven to a huge. Just as popular. Just as popular. So uh, the Q Olympics, we've had two events so far, uh, holding our breath. And a typing competition. Who could yes. type the best in 30 seconds? Yes. And uh, Case and Kenzie each have a gold. I don't have a gold. I have a silver and a bronze. Yep. That's where we're at. So I you first, you last, baby. I need this. I need this today. However, we're doing a wall sit where you lean against the wall like you're sitting and you hold it as long as you can. Yes. I'm just saying something, okay? Mm-hmm. Back in high school, when I played were basketball. Were you good at these? Uh, when I, no, uh, well, I was the elite athlete. Okay, so this is going to be your thing. That's what you're about to say. I think so. Okay. You got letters from Georgetown, North Carolina. That's right. Zombie because Night Basketball Camp. you sat on that wall, baby. Yeah, D1 athlete that was ready for the next level of competition. However, in a game that was very important to us, they had a guy six foot eight. I'm six four and a quarter, so he's bigger than me. Uh-huh. And the uh, game was close, and I sacrificed my body to stop him from going to dunk and take the lead by taking a charge. And this big six foot eight galoot fell on me, and I fell on the ground, and his knee went into my quad, my right quad. Where? Is there a mark? So No, there's no mark. <laughs> what? Take your pants off, let me see. Yeah. Right, come over here, Kenzie. Pull your, pull your jeans up, Hank. If I could pull my jeans up from the ankle to show <laughs> the quad. Get him up, hike him up. So when that exact spot where his knee went many years ago, if it's hit and strenuousness, strenuousness is on the quad, it gives out, and this pain comes over me that I swear goes for like two minutes. I don't know why. I never went to a doctor about it, but it's been years, obviously. It still happens. I'm just saying this event, I'm fighting through something here. It doesn't hurt right now. Wait a, wait a minute. Yeah. When we walked in here this morning, you said you thought you could do it for five to ten minutes. You've had this injury since high school. Correct. So... You've now, what, remembered your in- injury after the 10-second wall sit? It was traumatic. He remembered it. was PTSD. I was trying to mentally psych you out. Yeah. Uh-huh. Then I just realized now we're here and the event's here. <laughs> <laughs> and I mentally psyched myself out. <laughs> what is so, it? Yeah, there's always a... But what if you win? It'll be because you're an elite athlete? Correct. <laughs> correct. And I overcame something okay. that is, most can't well, overcome. Well, you're obviously... As the strongest male in the room, sorry, Case, obviously you, <laughs> obviously you shouldn't do well right. in this category. 
I don't know. If you guys got in a fist fight, who do you think would win between you two? Honestly, I think Casey would win. Really? That's different. It's not strength. Well, I've been. I am trained. I'm, I'm boxing in Muay Thai. I am a trained fighter. However, uh, oh, I I can't do this anymore. <laughs> I can't do it. But I think Case, if he was mad at me, this it'd be almost like uh, well, what's what's the guy in the Avengers? Uh, oh uh, oh, Thanos. Thanos. <laughs> To be honest. His fist would make me turn the dust. I don't think either of you are talented fighters, so I'm just going with height and weight. Okay. I and think... don't you weigh more or no? Do you weigh more, Brian? He weighs a few pounds more than me. Easy, easy. It's true, uh-huh. though, right? I think if we got into a fist fight, it would be like when a mountain lion gores somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I think I would just rip you apart. Yeah, I think I think it would be unrecognizable. Oh. It'd be a closed casket. Okay. <laughs> case well, then my mind is on case because he's the strongest guy in the room, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Only if he's mad. If it was like just let's fight, I think I could take him. But if he was mad, what would at me, make you mad? Like if I kicked you in the nuts, would you get mad, or would you just be upset? I knew that. That just be in pain. Yeah. Well, some, sometimes that makes people angry. But would you just be sensitive and like fall over? No, I'd be sensitive and fall over. Yeah. If you kicked me in the nuts, yeah, I'd, I'd fall over. Okay. So what would make you mad? What would get you hyped? I, God, I don't even uh, to do a wall. If I told you well, like if I told, Morrissey sucks, <laughs> would you get like super angry? No, I get that one. Oh, okay. <laughs> if I told him I couldn't give him rides home anymore, then that would be enough. That'd to be send him over the edge. Is that true? Can you not give me rides home anymore? Well, don't get it. No, now you're going to do a competitive edge in the wall sit. Let's, let's talk about it after the show. Okay. All right. All right. So okay. here, so let's do this. It's a wall sit. We're all walking to the wall, which is weird because I'm behind the board, so I have to walk over. I'll be away from the mic. It'll sound like we're all a little away from the mic. So you can go the longest here in the Q Olympics. It's for the gold. I need one, and I and I am definitely in trouble here. And please, on the text line, 312-591-8300, let us know who you think is going to win. We'll have this video posted on Facebook here momentarily after the Which contest. Which is being filmed because it's standing against a glass alcohol bottle because we don't have a fourth person to help <laughs> us, and we all have to sit on the wall. So we're doing our best. I like the glass. This is a high-budget show and operation. So you guys go over there, Kenzie. Go okay, right now. I'm going to go over. And I'm going to walk over, and we'll have the beginning of it. Press record, though. And my, on the phone that's on the alcohol. Also, I'm hitting a timer on my phone, so we know the exact time by the time. Wait, wait till we start. No, but I'm just going to hit it, so I'll, yeah. Are you minus the time already? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Can Case, go, go to the wall. Okay, yes, Case, yes, sir. Wall. You have to be close God, to me. It's like Gorbachev over here. <laughs> what is the Olympics? Here we go. Here we go. Let's get this up. I'm walking over, and we're going to compete right now. Uh, okay. Okay, I'm going over. Okay. All right, hurry up, hustle. Okay, hustle. I got it. Hustle. What are you doing? Get in the center position. Get in the camera angle. Everyone scooch. Okay. No, look at the camera. Okay, all okay. right. Okay, ready? Ready? Three, two, one, go. go. We're sitting. We're sitting right we now. We are sitting. Holy crap, is this hard. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you how much this hurts from that kid in high school. <laughs> you oh. gotta be kidding me. How are you doing, Case? Oh. <laughs> I'm out. You guys need to hydrate more. Kids, he's gonna kill you. Okay, we're at one minute. I'm out. Oh, we're at a minute. Oh. How do you feel? Oh. <laughs> you sound like Kids. you're gonna turn. Are you... Why is your foot out like this? Oh. And your foot's at an angle. Are you okay? Okay, it's the Q Olympics. It's Kenzie and Case left. Up. Oh, he moved his foot. <laughs> Case, you can't move a foot. I'm not, mo- I'm not moving anything. Okay, you can't all right, adjust. You're, you're putting your hands behind your back. Okay, all right, all right, that's enough. That's enough? Oh. <laughs> right. Ryan McKenzie is the winner. That's enough exercise for a year. Oh, oh my God. So Those sits are not easy. Thank you, Roy, our salesman, for checking in there. All right, Kenzie gets the gold again. Yay! I need an IV. That's terrible. I have to be honest. This is the best that I've done in any category because I did not feel tired yet. I'm telling you, you don't understand what that pain's like in my quad. It's like someone stabbed me in the quad. I gave birth this year. 
Please David. don't tell me I can't understand pain. You don't understand this pain. Okay. Yeah. This you, is worse than physical childbirth. Physical mental pain. You don't understand. I still pick, when that happens, that kid, that 6'8 kid comes to my mind. Uh-huh. All oh right. Kenzie, congratulations. Thank you. Another gold. Kenzie gets the I've gold. I've gold, silver, and gold. Case gets the silver, and I'll take a bronze on this one. The Q Olympics tomorrow morning, same time, 8.50. If you have any recommendations on physical things we can do in the studio, Text in 312-591-8300. Did everybody uh, on the text line, we'll come back and recap who people thought were going to win. little bitch legs. <laughs> Brian and Kenzie in the morning. And Chicago's alternative all day. Q101. Brian and Kenzie on Q101. The Q Olympics. Every morning at 850, we will do some sort of task. <laughs> Uh, so now we've physical t- <laughs> specimen competition. Something we can do here in the radio station, and we did the wall sit, and Kenzie won handily over me and Case on that one. I'm just saying I had an injury from high school that uh, definitely played into this, but I played through the pain to do it, and I did it, and I got the bronze. At least I got a medal. At least I'm coming on with a okay, medal. Okay, that doesn't count. There's only three people all playing. I mean, there's people that don't want a medal. That and this one, <laughs> you get a medal every time in the Q-Olympics. I mean, a lot of people come it's home with... 2024, baby. Everyone gets a medal. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm with Brian. We're not doing participation trophies here. You got to earn it to get a medal. Brian got a medal. I can't tell you. My, my quad still hurts from when it hits from that yeah. right now from doing it. Yeah, my so. legs are on fire. Yeah. I feel like I bathed in Tabasco. Good it's just heavens. everything is tingling. You guys need to relax. Mm. Anyway, we have a lot of great suggestions for tomorrow at 8.50. What we'll do... Uh, <laughs> I love how... Somebody said balance a pencil on your finger for the longest. None what? of us just trying that right now took a half a second. All of us. That, that, Let me that, see. You put it on your finger. Yeah, like this. Like, here, watch this. One, two. Oh, I did it sideways. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, that might take hours. Uh, <laughs> I'm like looking at you across my hand. <laughs> like, this is easy. What's wrong with you guys? <laughs> oh, okay, so we're not going to do that. No. Uh, we just got one that suggested that we walk barefoot across Legos as a contest? Wow. Okay, well, we don't need to, like, make our life horrible. I don't know. That's a really interesting suggestion. I think I'd rather do glass. <laughs> I hate Legos. Oh, God, that's really good. What is? I guess it'd be see how, who could walk the longest or the fastest over Legos. The yeah. fastest? That's well, not fair, because I have to take 18 steps to do one of yours. <laughs> yeah, well, but the wall sits were to your advantage because of your body shape. You know, there's, What does that mean? Oh, you're built like R2-D2. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? You're just low to the ground. You have a lower, so? ce- you have a lower center of gravity. It's still hard. I know, but you do have a lower center of gravity. I have, like, you know, long 36-length legs. Like, what's your pant leg length? I don't know. I guess girls don't buy pants like that, right? Like yeah. Guys have 36, 36. I wear a four. <laughs> Does that tell you anything? Ooh la la. Uh, <laughs> I don't you know. wear a four. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about my leg. Oh, boy. All right, so a lot of great suggestions. A sprinting contest, which we will do in the hallway. But we need to get uh, some technical stuff set to, up for that. Our, our engineer hates us because we want to be able to hold microphones while we do it, and he just... He hates us so much, so we're going to figure that out. Um, but one we think we can do tomorrow, which was suggested by... Let's see, who does Diane in Round Lake recommended this? Thank you, Diane, checking in from Round Lake this morning. Um, who can hold the longest singing note? Meaning we, p- we pick a song, all of us do the same one, and who can hold the note the longest? Maybe it's like the My, my Bodyguard, maybe, I yeah, Will Always we, Love You. And I <laughs> Do you want to do that tomorrow? I mean, I don't... Okay, is that horrible for... Does, do people want to hear that? <laughs> no one wants for to hear a minute? that. Like I, I try to like think of, I try to think of you. You know, like I don't, I don't want someone to have to listen to that. I have a voice of an angel, like Fergie and You're Jesus. Like Fergie and Jesus. <laughs> just give me a quick. You hit the end eye like I just did. I want to hear your version. End eye. No, you can't. You got to keep it. Uh. Oh, we'll always love you. you. No, I don't think we're gonna do riffs. I think we're just gonna keep end eye. Oh, and I. Case, what would your intro sound like? And I. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to be good. Okay, we'll consult. Maybe that's what we'll do tomorrow. I like okay. that. That might be pretty good. Keep sending in ideas. 312 591 It's got to be things that we can do in the studio. Remember that. That are physically challenging, not mental. It's Brian and Kenzie on Q101. Brian and Kenzie in the morning. And Chicago's alternative all day. Q101.